it's Nancy hi is how is hi how is everybody getting on just wanted to check in and see how you're all doing and uh, you know wanting to see if everybody's okay because it you know it's we're in this for the long haul and the more people I speak to the more I realize that this is this is around for a while so I've just got in from work today my last day possibly for a long time not sure how long it's all a little bit uncertain um, so trying to remain positive and and uh, just leave the decisions with people who are you know have my best interest at heart so I'm in my lovely bedroom and I've got my lovely fairy lights and I'm just gonna have a nice relaxing evening now um, but yeah, uh, interesting day. I said chatting to lots of people, and you know, I think the general public are trying to be positive. Um, there's much humour, and I confess to lots of people who were buying Easter eggs today whilst I was on the checkout that I had actually eaten my son's Easter egg, and they all thought it was hilarious. But it's good to know that I'm not alone, so I'm not the only mummy who's eaten her Easter her kids' Easter eggs. In fact, there's an even worse story to tell. Um, one of the yummy mummies I spoke to said that. Um, the, her grand, the grandparents had bought round Easter eggs for the kids and she'd eaten those. So that's even worse than me actually buying, um, eating my son's, my own son's Easter egg because I bought that. So technically it's still mine, you know, possession is nine tenths of the law and all that. If, if your grandparents have been around, that's really bad. So we were laughing about that. So just much humour in, in sort of these, these bleak times. Um, a lot of uh, interesting to see what people are buying. Lots and lots of chocolate, lots of wine. Um, so just trying to keep the spirits, everyone's spirits up, I guess, because we can't go out, we can't eat out, you know, all those sorts of things. So just, just, just a different way of shopping as well. Um, having some really trippy dreams, though. Honest to goodness, it's like I've taken some weird stuff at night. Um, I, have, I wake up and I'm so disorientated. Don't know what day of the week it is. And and also, for, I don't know if anybody else is feeling this, but there's that brief second when you wake up, think, and you're thinking, oh, everything's okay. And then you realize, no, it's not. It's really not. And we are where we are. And that's quite, that's quite, it's sort of like a sickening realization that dawns on you when, you when you've been awake for a couple of, you know, like 30 seconds and you think, gosh, we're still in this. And, uh, you know, let's face the day. So let's see what the day holds. Um, but, yeah, so some weird dreams. But I think a lot of, I've spoken to a lot of people, everyone's saying that they're having uh, lots of weird dreams. I wonder what, um, dream analysts would make of it because I guess we're all feeling unsettled so I guess there's something behind all that. Um, another question I wanted to ask was uh, just for a bit of interaction really, um, who is your ideal dinner guest? Who, Living or dead, say so three dinner guests that you'd really really like to have around the table um, and why? So I'd be really curious, I'm going to have a think about what mine are, who mine would be. Uh, I think Stephen Fry would definitely be up there as, as, as one of mine. Oh, Hugh Jackman. See, it's not that difficult, actually. So, yeah, Hugh Jackman, for obvious reasons. The fact that he's an amazing, um, you know, he just seems like an amazing person. He, very easy in the eye. He sings, he dances, he acts. He's just lovely. And, um, yeah, I've had a crush on him for the longest time since I saw him in Oklahoma about 25 years ago before he became a huge star. Obviously, Stephen Fry for his, his, um, his wit. Um, he's he's so erudite and so brilliant. I just think I would just probably sit there and all. I probably wouldn't want to know what to say. Um, who else would I like? Hmm. I think. Oh, actually, see, it's not that difficult. Craig Revel Horwood. And I was really hoping before this happened, uh, I had an interview penciled in. Actually, I'm such a big fan of his. Um, so just wanted to sort of know what makes him tick. So at the moment, those are my my three. But I'm sure everybody else has got different opinions and why. I'm so curious to know what those are. And I've got some exciting news as well, which I'm just going to um, uh, hang on to that for a little little while longer till I get everything sorted out. But uh, yeah, I've been very productive. Um, so I've got a week off now. And uh, yes, if anybody wants a styling session, please drop me a message. Um, I've got one booked in um, for a lovely chap soon and um, a couple more uh, penciled in. So as I say, if you fancy it, uh, please drop me a line. So I hope you're enjoying the Menopause Mummy Diaries. And uh, yeah, take care and I hope everybody's, you know, okay. Love you lots. Mwah.